Hi folks, Jonas Kane here to share with you today's magic word. And the magic word that I thought I wanted to talk about was risk. And I, I was all set to talk about how nothing ventured, nothing gained, and how fortune favors the brave. But then there was something that I didn't quite like about that word, because risk implies inherent danger with p potential for negativity. So I wanted to look for a corresponding word with potential for positivity. And that's when I recognized the magic word, hope. <laughs> now I often say that there's no sense in, in wishful thinking, because wishful thinking looks at what we currently have, desires something more, but then stops there. Now on the other hand, hopeful thinking looks at what we have, sees things for how they could be, then makes a, a plan to make it happen, and then jumps into action. Notice then how, how wishful thinking, wishful thinking, plays life safe, believes that maintaining the status quo is the primary objective, and it, it's certainly not in the game to win, but rather wishful thinking is only in the game to not lose. Yeah, on the other hand, hopeful thinking understands nothing ventured, nothing gained. Hopeful thinking uh, takes calculated risks when the potential payoff is greater than the threat of maintaining the status quo, and it is certainly always, always in the game to win. Now, when thinking about hope, I'm encouraged by the words of T.S. Eliot, who once said that only those who will risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. That's the power of hope. Hope takes an honest assessment of reality, calculates how best to respond, then jumps into action. Now, by releasing the, the need to control everything, even control over desired outcomes, we allow ourselves the permission to grow beyond our current level of achievement, while at the same time also allowing ourselves the, the permission to fail gracefully. Hope encourages us to try again. It encourages us to, to love like we've never had our hearts broken. It encourages us to get up each day to meet life, even when we can scarcely summon the will. Hope encourages us to keep on living even long after the thrill of living is gone. So by, by treating our hopeful actions as something like fact-finding missions to understand our true capacities, we will find the potential for negativity inherent to risk-taking becomes replaced with the potential for positivity, which is the promise of genuine hope. And that's why today's magic word is not risk, but rather, it is hope. And so if, if you've lately found yourself in a discouraging situation, whatever the case may be, and if you feel that all hope is lost, then please, I encourage you, reach out to me, reach out to a family member, reach out to a loved one, anyone. There, there's no reason to have to go out in search of hope alone. And on that note, until next time, my name is Jonas Kane.